change here. You're saying that once Hamas leaves, you'll grant the, the, the Gazan people food, shelter, fuel, electricity, hospitals, schooling. And, in, and if they don't, and, and if Hamas doesn't leave, then they'll continue to starve and die in hospitals. You are defining for the international community right now collective punishment. You're saying until, until Hamas acts differently, the two million people in Gaza are going to be treated this way. And once Hamas acts differently, these two million people in Gaza will be treated better. That is exactly what collective punishment is. You're holding them accountable for the actions of others. That is the definition, the textbook definition of, of, of collective punishment, sir. Now, you may, you, you may accept that that's what you want to do, but this is absolutely a contravention of international law.